Hey there, welcome to my channel. My name is Kat and I am a professional dog trainer and groomer. Today we're going to do an unboxing of the Pet NF Professional Force Hair Dryer. I have never bought a force dryer online, so I was very nervous finding one, but my old one finally died after 10 years. So I figured I urgently needed one because I'm grooming a few border collies tomorrow. So I quickly purchased this one off Amazon for, I think it was about, about $75, $80, which is the cheapest one that I found <laughs> that looked decent, had good reviews. So I guess let's see what's in this sucker. So I started to open it and then kind of decided that I would share it with you guys. So I'm going to Put a towel down so you can see what I've actually got, okay? So first we have some nozzles, looks like. A comb nozzle, that's interesting. Looks like a hose for it. Not sure how many of these nozzles we actually need or will use. I will probably only ever use this or this. Okay, put this in there. Looks like we have a filter and earplugs. Let's see. This comes with, I assume this is a filter for it, but it also comes with two sets of earplugs, which is kind of funny. I always wear headphones. Six months extended warranty, some instructions on how to groom a dog. So if you need instructions. Okay. Here's what the actual dryer. Well packaged, that's nice. It looks like a pretty nice dryer actually. Oh, I assume it comes with an extra filter. That's what this is. And that looks like that just comes off of, just unscrews there, but there's already a filter in there. It's nice that it comes with an extra. Looks like a zip tie on there. Um, oh, and it's even heated. See, I clearly didn't um, look at this. So let's, has a power button and the heating button. And our hose hooks on here, I assume. Could probably read the instructions. A nice pose. Let's just see if we can get that on there. Oh, so this comes off and then you put it on. Yep, that's how it works. Okay, so this little ring comes off of here. Let me just put this on and clip. The little ring has kind of ridges on it that you just clip back on. I assume so this hose doesn't come off. That is nice. I like that. And then these just fit right up. That's weird. That seems kind of strange. I think that's supposed to do that. I 
I don't know. But I feel like that might be a little um, annoying that that's like that. But we'll see. So we are going to plug this in to an extension cord that I have over here. I don't break things. See how loud this is. I will definitely give it a try tomorrow. Might even make a video on it. So the cord is really short. You might need, actually need an extension cord to get it to the main outlet. Let's see how loud this is. So we're going to put it on minimum. This is kind of obnoxious already. I'm sure I can just put it down there. And, is it supposed to go down here? No. I don't know. This seems much more comfortable without whatever this is on there. <laughs> low without heat. So now I'm going to turn it on on low with the heat. On low with the heat, the heat is not, um, it's not super hot like your normal hair dryer, which is super nice, and it takes that chill off. So I'm going to slowly turn it up to max so you guys can hear it. <laughs> It definitely smells like plastic and now there's dog hair all over because this is my dog grooming and training room. So it smells like burnt plastic, but I assume that's just because it's brand new. So I really like, I really like this so far. Obviously I haven't used it on a dog yet, but I will show you what it's like on the border collies that I grew tomorrow and give you an update. So far so good. It's not overly loud. The heat is at a nice temperature. I am not sure if I will actually use these attachments. I've only ever used a force dryer with this round attachment, so I guess we'll see. But I can see, I mean, I can see where these would come in handy, these flat ones. Um, I don't know. We'll see. So far, 
two thumbs up right here. I like this thing. The following day I decided to give the dryer a try with King the Border Collie. King is quite comfortable already with getting groomed, so I went in slowly because I wasn't quite sure about the dryer yet since I haven't used it. Um, we started with the dryer on the lowest setting and slowly worked our way up when I noticed that King really could care less that he was getting dried, which was quite nice for my first time using this dryer. I did use the heat setting the whole time, which I feel like sped up the time of drying quite a lot. After I get the initial wetness out of his hair, I'm going to be using a pin brush and a slicker brush while I dry him to try to keep his hair pretty flat on his body so it doesn't stick up straight like it currently is, as cute as that is. I started with the round nozzle to get most of that wet out. I feel like it worked the best for that. Throughout the video, I'm going to try out all of the other nozzles that it came with. There is the comb nozzle that I'm using right now that I really do not like. I feel like especially on his butt hair, it kind of got caught in the hair and I feel like it just got in the way. I really don't think King liked it either. So we went ahead and switched to trying out both of the flat nozzles, which I did really like because those ones worked the best for keeping the hair flat along with using that pin brush and that slicker brush while I dried the hair. King's grooming from start to finish, from bath to completely dry, nails trimmed, feet trimmed, took about 30 to 45 minutes, and I feel like with this force dryer, it really sped up the process tremendously. I did end up finishing him out with the normal heat dryer. I think just because I'm used to using the heat dryer on all of the dogs. I did grow up showing Papillons, so using a force dryer on all of their coat, on that long hair, started to tangle it, so I just got in the habit of using a regular people heat hair dryer. I do recommend this dryer 100%. I give it a 10 out of 10 for anyone who wants a dryer for at home or even for professional use. I use this dryer almost every day now. I've had it for about a week and absolutely love it. Put a link for this dryer in the description below so you can buy it if you want and let me know in the comments if you do end up buying it and you do like it. I definitely want to know what your thoughts are. I'm going to go ahead and put in the finishing touches of King's groom even after his dry of trimming his feet and grinding down his nails which he was awesome for. Thanks for watching this video, I hope it was helpful. I do really appreciate you stopping by. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and want to see more reviews and more dog training and grooming videos. For those of you who don't know, I am a professional dog trainer and groomer. I also have quite a lot of knowledge in nutrition for dogs, especially in raw nutrition. We do feed all four of our Papillons a raw diet that we make at home. Occasionally we do feed Again, a thank you so much diet for stopping just by for and have a wonderful and blessed day. If you with want your to pups. see some more videos about that, I would definitely love to show you what we feed our dogs and how we make that work every week.